Here is the elevator at the Luxor in Las Vegas, Nevada. First we're gonna go up. And we're gonna try to get a car without anybody else. Whoa. I forgot just how weird these things are. Okay. And they're a little bit screechier than I remember. floor and you can see they're doing the renovations oh, yeah. but as I told you when you get back on yeah. and now I believe the floor with the view is 28 the view all the way down and to think we're standing on an area where there's no supports right now yeah I just want to get one good look down there this building is incredibly unstable um, one of these days it's gonna fall down and when that day happens it will not be good um, until then we're here. These are the some of the old fixtures here, these concave buttons. I believe if you press up, it also lights up green, but I'm not gonna press up. We'll get a different car. Look at this here. This isn't even mounted straight. They used to have the um, European version of Series 3 on these. They're kind of neat, but yet also kind of terrifying at the same time. I think we're going to get this one. Lucky guess. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I'm just, you know, psychic or something. I kind of need to do some work on these. So yeah, so yeah I'm going to go down to one. It looks as if they never tore the plastic off this. No. No, this is all just plastic covering. I forgot that when it starts up, it's not like a normal elevator and you can like fall to the side. That indicator is still dead. This is the one I filmed when I first modernized it. side here. Can't see much. It's kind of interesting either way. These are the highest incline elevators in the world. Sad thing is one day they'll no longer exist and probably never be rebuilt. So I'll get to say one day when I'm really old I rode an incline elevator that no longer existed. It was the highest ever built. Laugh at me all you want. It's unfortunately true. Let's see if we can see it a little. Not really. Yep. So now we'll just wait for the door to close. That's it. 